Howdy folks, Cato here with another third party Transformers review. Today I'm going to take a look at Fans Hobby's MB12A Nightwalker. It's their version of Nightbeat. Now, Nightbeat, as far as I remember, was not in any of the cartoons. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I'm sure you will. But he was in the original commercial for the Headmasters, and he was in the Marvel and Marvel US and UK comics as far as as far as I know, I'm not that guy. I'm not the knowledge guy on that kind of stuff. But for me, I just really enjoyed the Headmaster gimmick, and I never had any Headmasters that I recall as a kid. I picked mine up from thechosenprime.com. I will have a link in the description below if you want to grab yours from there as well. With all that out of the way, let's roll the intro. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and let's start looking at Fans Hobby's MB12 Nightwalker, their version of Nightbeat. Kato. Real quick, I want to say a huge thank you to my current subscribers. Well on my way to 4,000 subscribers before TFCon, my new goal. I have edited the one down from 5,000. And a massive thank you to my channel members. You guys know that without all of you, none of this would be possible and it would be a whole lot less fun. If you're interested in becoming a channel member, click the join button below. Unless you're on one of those evil Apple devices, click the join link in the description. As always, I'll start by showing off the packaging. You can see on the front there, MB12A Nightwalker. Nightwalker in robot mode, alt mode, and his headmaster, I believe, was called Muzzle. I'm sure actual size on the box. On the back, you get all this great g one goodness. I'll just pick it up here and show you. You've got this great shot here of all the figures. I love how 80s reminiscent that is. You've got muzzle showing a little bit of posability. The power bar there underneath the power bar. Hmm. Power meter there under the chest and alt mode couple different head sculpts based on whether you want a more comic or uh, toy accurate looking face. You've got muzzle there inside the cab on the top. You've got Nightwalker on the bottom. You've got Nightwalker in alt mode, robot mode, robot mode. And that's about it. In the box, you get the instruction manual, which folds out. It does this. I mean, we've seen this three times already. The instructions are what they are. You get a nice little sticker sheet here if you want to throw some stickers on him. Uh, I probably won't use these. Nowadays, what would a third party Transformers be without a collector's card? You get Nightwalker in robot mode, Nightwalker in alt mode, and all the stats on the back. Just like with Athena and Will Blade, you get the same pistol, uh, folds up, folds in half, and stores in the uh, trunk area of alt mode. You get two of these. You do also get this orange head sculpt, so if you want to make it a little more uh, G1 toy accurate, and I think he showed up with an orange face every once in a while in the comics, who knows? But you do have the option to swap the face out. And of course you get muzzle, uh, his headmaster, blue and yellow, upside down face on the back. Same articulation, actually it's the same exact sculpt as the original headmaster, just some repaint there. I don't think a single thing changed other than color. Different robot head sculpt, obviously, hanging out on the back. Articulation, uh, rotation at the head, ball jointed shoulders to come up and around. Uh, Elbow bend, right. Ooh, that's tight. Oh, I did not like that. Elbow bend, nothing at the hands, nothing at the waist. The legs can go in and out, but man, that is tight and scary. Knee bend all the way because of transformation. No rotation, no outward movement, but you do get an ab crunch. Again, just like the rest, you can pop this off and store the weapons. Uh, they have a little slot right and see that little slot right inside there where this little bit will go in. Uh, not super fun to do on camera, so you're gonna take my word for it, but they will slide in right there. And just like with the others, if you want to lift up the canopy here, 
flip that back, you should be able to seat your little guy in there. I I, I just don't want to fight with it, but he, he can go in there. It's just not worth fighting to get him in. As I mentioned, he does come packed in alt mode and it looks good. I mean, if you like the Athena look that we had with the first MB-12, then there's not really anything not to like here. Uh, the flames on the side look really good. You can see that uh, they're detailed really nice across the side there. The little vents here in the back. You can see the door handle. Uh, the window, which I think was squeezed in a little bit, but it's fine. The mag wheels here. Yellow across the front with the orange parking lights. Black inside. Pretty plain and simple. You can see this one doesn't have the siren lights at the top, which I'll show in comparison. Vents at the back. Plastic. Uh, very dark, clear plastic for the windows, which I really like. Spot for the tag. And red translucent plastic for the tail light so overall a very fine looking car mode if you liked like again if you liked wheel blade and athena this is just another version of the same thing and you can see the box underbelly right there for a quick comparison there you have nightwalker beside wheel blade there he is beside the original mold athena and just to show how he scales with other mp bots there is mp sunstreaker i gotta say the transformation overall if if this one would have come out first, I don't think anyone w really would have complained about Athena. It transforms much smoother, and a lot of it has to do with the fact that I've done it three times now, or on three different bots now, but still, the tolerances are so much better. Um, these pieces here connect to the leg a lot better. Uh, the floppy bits that were on Minerva here, the doors, they tab into uh, here much better so they don't flop around. The joints are appropriately tight and appropriately loose where they need to be. So this is the best version uh, of that, probably right next to or second to, uh, or uh, right alongside the wheel blade mold. But this one is definitely tolerance better. If this had been first, people would not have had a problem with it. As far as the look of the figure, uh, it looks good. It, it is pretty much just a direct uh, repaint, but there are some a few tooling differences that we'll go over. Real quick, I want to take a look at the head sculpt. So on the side here, I'm going to put up a shot of the G1 toy and a shot of the comic book version of Nightbeat. And you can see that there are uh, nods to both, especially when you consider you can swap this face out right here for that orange one and replace the goggles with the blue eyes. So some of the changes, and I'll show in the uh, comparison between the two, the chest is a little different. You've got this piece here and it's molded a bit different than both Will Blade and uh, Minerva or Athena, whatever. You got some gray paint here. I think that's the same on both. I'll show more in the comparison. The blue and gray. Of course, you get the gimmick of the power meter. When you push the head in there, you have that little gimmick going on. Blue and yellow. I mean, there's, I'm gonna say blue and yellow a lot. But one very cool mold difference to me is, let me go ahead and bring out uh, Athena. So when you're looking at Athena and you're looking at uh, Nightwalker here, the chest is obviously different, right? So you've got those, the different mold here and here. So they did try to make him look a little more masculine as opposed, as opposed to the two female characters that we've gotten by changing the chest out a little bit. They made him a little more bulky along the waist here. So they did some decent changes to make him look a little more uh, I guess the right term would be masculine, right? Uh, as opposed to the slender, more feminine look. So that's, that is a plus. I do like that a lot. My favorite difference though, is by eliminating the uh, light bar here, you can fold the backpack all the way down if you want. And that makes it much more slender and appealing to me. The articulation is the same. So you got the 360 at the head, thanks to the ball joint or the uh, joint of the uh, headmaster. Arms will go 
out. They'll actually go all the way up if you want. They will rotate all the way around. You've got a deep elbow bend. You've got a couple joints here in the hand so you can close those up and the thumb is on a swivel. You've got bicep rotation, waist rotation, be it albeit a little bit hindered, but you do have it. A little bit of back and forth and teapot for ab crunch. Uh, out not very far, back up, knee bend about 90 degrees and uh, swivel and a little bit of tilt there in the feet. So articulation is the same across all three. There he is beside the original mold, Athena, Minerva. There he is beside the Con exclusive wheel blade. Still my favorite of the figures just because I love the way wheel blade looks. And there he is beside Masterpiece Scale uh, Bad Cube Sun Surge. So as far as I'm concerned, this is the one to get of the three. The, the exclusive may be a little harder to get. Wheelblade looks great. But as far as engineering uh, and, and fixes to things that were wrong with the first release in Minerva, this is the one to get. Uh, everything transforms well. The legs are still obnoxious, but not as bad as they used to be. Again, that may just be because I've done it so many times now. Um, they changed enough, they remolded enough here to make him look a little more masculine, giving him the wider, uh, wider waist with the flatter chest. So that helps it not just being a direct robotic repaint. The vehicle mode is a straight up repaint minus the, the uh, light bar at the top. So overall, I'm really thrilled with this. A quick note, these are a lower price point than what Fans Hobby normally does. Their normal bots are larger, they're like 200, 225 bucks depending on what you buy. These range between 50 and 70, and I feel like you get that out of this figure. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my review of Fans Hobby's MB12 Nightwalker, their version of Nightbeat. I know I really enjoyed actually playing with this one for the first time in, I think, the set of the three. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you smash that like button. Uh, let me know what you think of the review and the figure in the comments. Follow me on social media at Kato's Collection Reviews on Facebook. I have a page there on Instagram at Kato's underscore collection. And be sure to subscribe to all the other Rejected Cons, Sardo News by 82, Larkin's Lair, and Inu Tabi. This is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut. It's Kato.